All right, today we are gonna talk about the Shimano Corrado DC and talk about the settings on the reel, why I set them the way I do, what the settings mean, a whole bunch of stuff. So, um, before I start, like I said, it is it's the Shimano Corrado DC. It is the 7.4 uh, high gear left hand retrieve, and it's paired up with the G Loomis E6X medium power. Uh, I think it's extra fast action. Yep, 10 to 14 pound test, eight ounce to three eighths. I do have a quarter ounce tungsten weight and a three aught Superline EWG hook that I'm going to tie a plastic onto. Um, I did have this reel on a medium heavy rod, so I did. I have my tackle bag with me so I can use a different bait with it if I choose to. So anyway, I don't really want to have this um, be too long and drawn out, so. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take a Rage Craw. And yes, for those of you that are new to my channel, I am in Michigan and it has been snowing. So I'm trying to be optimistic and just kind of keep doing the videos as I go until spring and spawn and everything else gets here. <laughs> Put your hook in the bait. Like I said, just a quarter ounce Texas rig on this medium rod. So that medium rod with the DC reel should cast really far. Casting the Corrado DC today. It is the 7.4 high gear left hand retrieve. And I know some of you guys were kind of wondering about what the settings were because on the reel, you do have four, three, two, and one. Well, basically four is for flipping and pitching or very high control, you know, very limited backlashing. Okay, it's set on four. I know I keep thumbing it but that's just by force of habit. You actually don't have to thumb it. And look, it hit the water and it just started to backlash after, oh, I fell in. Oh, I'm done. You know, too, the cool thing is you really don't have to thumb it when you have the reel set to four. Look. I stopped it after it hit the water. Uh, it's going decently far, but also not as far as I've casted it before, if that makes any sense to you. Okay, so anyways, uh, one thing that I will say about DC reels, because I have used the Antares DC with the four by eight DC braking system for a number of years, is that <laughs> not every DC reel is adjusted by a spool tension knob. The 2016 Antares DC um, has no spool tension. It has a four by eight braking system, which is an internal setting for fluorocarbon, braid, monofilament, and extreme distance. Then it has eight brake adjustments next to it. It has a knob or somewhere around the area of above it that people say is a spool tension, but if you read the manual on that Antares DC, it does say that there is no spool tension knob on the reel. And also visually, there is none. Now on the Corrado DC, the, the American DC reel, Instead of adjusting the spool tension knob really light, like I would on my conventional reels, normally I would set it to where the spool is knocking and wobbling like I did in the SLX video. On this, on this DC reel, I hate it when my bait gets tangled. <coughs> it says to set it to where there is just barely play in the, excuse me, no play in the reel. So there's wobbling, there's a little bit of wobbling, there is none. 
and force of habit does tell me to thumb it. But anyway, so not every DC reel is set with a spool tension knob, but the Corrado DC is. Now on to the next thing. Like I said, four is for flipping and pitching and a heavy brake control. Three is fluorocarbon. Two is for braid or monofilament. And one is for maximum distance. So if you go to three, because I do have 14 pound fluorocarbon on this reel, I'm going to cast it hard. I'm going to thumb it, but it's also not going to backlash. And there is a slight wind, but the wind is toward me. I didn't have to thumb it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reel this in, get the camera behind me, and try to see if we can capture that. After I make another cast, of course. <laughs> Just kind of randomly casting. <laughs> it's funny. Now, if you're wondering, how do I like this reel? I like it a lot. Um, the DC reel noise, or the DC noise, the digital chip noise that you hear whatever you want to call it. Uh, that comes from basically the chip reading the speed of the spool. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I do believe that the chip is going to read it at one one thousandth of a second, just like it did on the Anteras. And as you can see where that splash was, it does cast pretty far for, of course, for a quarter ounce Texas rig plastic. If I had a jig or a spinnerbait or a lipless crankbait, of course it's going to cast farther, but. Now what I'm going to do, I've been kind of playing with it on three. I, I was going to tie on either a half ounce or a three quarter lipless crankbait and do maximum distance mode, but I'm gonna save that for when I'm on a lake. I mean, that's kind of a lame excuse, but I'm just saying. And by the way, hi ducks, <laughs> don't fall in again. So in conclusion, uh, Corrado DC casting slash or space DC four, I think that's what I'm gonna call this video, uh, is the real worth the $250, yes. Uh, does it operate not the same, but close to how the Anteras operates? Uh, for not having the four by eight system, yes. Uh, is it a good DC reel, but is there a difference comparing that to the other ones? Yes. And another thing, if I haven't mentioned it already, that you, that's, you're gonna notice like, like I said, not every DC reel is set by the spool tension, okay? Like you have different DC reels. And if that doesn't make sense, you have a DC four, you have a DC five, you have the four by eight DC, like I have in the Anteras, you have an Xsense DC tune. Uh, there's literal electronic DC reels. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So keep that in mind. Anyway, I also did redo the tackle bag, jig box, crankbait and jerkbait box. I'm not carrying as much as I used to. I'm carrying what I know works in my opinion for when I start fishing. I'm gonna, instead of changing this bag like once a month or twice a month, I'm gonna change this, I think once a week or once every two weeks. Top water, uh, an empty hook box because I have tube jigs and tungsten down there. And then spinnerbait slash chatterbait box. You got the scale and everything in there. Plastics, coffee tubes. Yamamoto Senko, look, the Gobi color, uh, Biospawn, Vilcra, Guggen Baits, a whole bunch of different stuff. But anyways, just wanted to go over the DC reel, make some cast, talk to you guys a little bit about it. Uh, go in depth, but not crazy in depth. And that's gonna be it.